Hey guys, how's it going? It's Rob Sutton. We're back here with another video today. If you've been wondering whether you should buy an Apple Watch or a Garmin watch, you've come to the right place. So let's get at it. So first, let's go into what I think are the pros about the Garmin watch. And the first one, and it's the big one because it's everything the Garmin watch is centered around is GPS and multiple sports. What I really like to explain to people is the Garmin watch is more of a sports watch with some smartwatch functions where the Apple watch is a smartwatch with some sports functions. Where the Garmin really excels is being able to do multiple sports and multiple sports very well with a very accurate GPS. So if you're like me and you're into surfing, mountain biking, gravel bike riding, running, walking, doing things outdoors, the Garmin watch might actually be a better fit for you because it's really more what it's designed around. And number two, Ant Plus connections. When I use the Garmin watch on the bike, I'm able to connect those accessories that connect through that platform, like cadence sensors, speed sensors, heart rate monitors, anything that does that Ant Plus connection, I can do that with the Garmin watch where I can't with the Apple watch because it's only Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And number three, the Garmin watch is much more durable. It's designed for outdoor use. So when you look at the designs of the two, you can see how this is a lot more protected. So if you get in something like a bike wreck or something else, you're not as worried about the watch when you hit the ground. And number four, battery life. The Garmin watch will last six to seven days with absolutely everything turned on. If you actually put it into a, like a battery saver mode or just don't have you know, your heart rate running 24 seven, you can get up to 30 days with these things. And this one specifically actually has solar charging. So if you're someone who goes on really long rides, really long runs, a Garmin watch might be a better fit for you because the battery life is so much better and you don't have to worry about that battery draining when you're out on your activity. Where the Apple watch, I find I have to charge every single night. And number five, one device for all. If you're someone that has a lot of different devices for your different activities, like I have biking computers and other things that I use just for specific activities, having one watch that does it all might be a nice step where the Apple watch really kind of depends on the phone. And for a lot of the tracking things, it isn't as good as it would be with the Garmin, specifically when it comes to things like maps when I'm riding new routes. The Apple Watch just really doesn't do that as well, so I'd have to use a cycling computer anyway, or my phone, where the watch can do all of that in one device, and I don't have to worry about charging multiple devices and bringing them with me. And number six, there are a ton of different options when it comes to the Garmin watches. So you can go on their website right now and see a wide variety of watches that are difference in price, difference in features, and designs. So you can really kind of tailor it down to specifically what you need. And number six, cross compatibility. With the Garmin watch, you can use it with an Android phone, standalone with an iPhone. It has multiple things that you can do with it with different platforms. With the Apple watch, you're really tied to the iPhone. So if you're an Android user, the Garmin watch is probably the way to go. And the reason for that is the Android watches just really aren't that good. So this is a great option if you aren't tied to an iPhone. So let's talk about what I really like with the Apple watch. And first, it is the fact that it is really a smartwatch. Apple has done a great job with all of the apps, integration, you can even just get its own cell phone service. Everything about this watch is a smartwatch. It's what it was designed to do. Now it does have a lot of fitness tracking and other things, but where it really shines is the ability to actually function by itself as a smart device on your wrist. And number two, the watch OS and the app store. Where the Garmin watch kind of falls flat a little bit is in the OS itself. When you use an Apple watch, there's a stark difference in how much the user experience is better on the Apple watch itself. And the amount of apps that you can get through the app store is pretty astounding. The Garmin's really limited in that aspect of how many apps you can actually integrate onto the watch itself. And number three is that cellular availability. The Apple watch can actually act as a phone, a streaming device, anything that you can use your phone for. So you're really limited in that aspect with the Garmin because it's not really a full smartwatch where you do have that ability with the Apple Watch. And for a lot of people, that's really a game changer. So if you wanna go out on a run and listen to music that you don't have downloaded, like you have to have on the Garmin, you can actually stream that from Spotify and your other music streaming services where you wouldn't be able to do it with the Garmin Watch. And number four, better for emergency alerts. If you're someone who likes the fact that this will actually call 911 for you if you get in an accident, where you can, can be tracked at where you are, like my wife can see where I am with my Apple Watch just through Find My iPhone. That's not something you could do with this Garmin. So that's something to keep in mind as well, is that if you really like those features of where you could see where you are and the emergency functions, it's a really cool feature that you really don't have with any other device. The flip side to that Find My iPhone feature too is if you misplace your watch, you can actually find it. If you misplace your Garmin watch, 
it might just be lost. Now, when it comes down to the styling of each of them, it really is kind of a wash for me. I kind of like the fact that the Garmin looks more like a traditional watch as I used to really like to collect watches where the Apple Watch has a very iconic square design that everyone seems to know. But I think they both look good on the wrist, so it really isn't that big of a deal either way. And that's just more of a personal preference. So guys, here's the bottom line. It really comes down to what do you favor the most? Do you need those smartwatch functions the most? If you do, you're going to lean towards something like the Apple Watch more than the Garmin. If you're someone like me that needs one device that rules all and does a lot of different activities, the drawbacks that you get for not having some of those more smartwatch functions might be worth it because you're using it for so much more than just making text calls and listening to music. For me, like I don't pay with my watch, I don't, which you can do with the Apple Watch as well. I don't answer texts with my watch, I do it with my phone. I do listen to music through the Garmin some, but typically I'll do that through the phone if I have it with me anyway. So what I ended up doing was actually switching to the Garmin watch because of the actual activities and everything that go along with it when it comes to me related to sports. I do miss some of the smartwatch functions that I got with the Apple watch, but it's worth the trade-off for me. And I have a feeling there's a lot of people that the trade-off would actually be better in the other direction as you use more of those smartwatch functions. So it really comes down to what kind of person are you? Do you need these features or do you need these? And that should answer it for you. So guys, if you have any questions or comments, please hit up the comment section below. I'll be sure to answer as many as I can. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Rob Sutton for more videos like this in the future. And until then, on to the next one. Thanks guys, see ya.